Hi, welcome back and welcome to those of you that are joining us for the first time. I'm delighted that you have decided to take this time to look out for yourself, to honour yourself and um, be part of a wider community of those of us that are doing these 20 minutes for 20 days, um, all in aid of good cause for ourselves individually and uh, also for the Go Simon community. If you feel able to do so, uh, we'd really appreciate it. Um, so uh, on, this is day three. On day one, we worked uh, with furniture and acknowledged the furniture bodies that most of us have and acknowledged how we might be able to maneuver and work through uh, the furniture bodies. And on day two, then we went to the ground and tried to work on some joint awareness and mobility exercises in an accessible way on the floor because most of us are, are in bed in the day and night and we can access the joints in this way from our, our beds. Um, so today I'm, we're going to move upright now. We're we're going to progress through these 10 to 20 days. We're pacing nice and steadily. Um, we're going to move upright into a seated position and try to find some of those um, mobility exercises. And we're going to um, progress with the breathing practice that we did yesterday, the Samavriti Pranayama. And to do that, I'd like to work on expanding through the chest, through the heart, through the spine, so that all of the muscles that need to be worked for the breath work are feeling nice and active and, and uh, alive and supported, full of prana. Prana is um, energy in Sanskrit and the, the harnessing of the, of the energy and the building up of the energy in a, in a positive way for us is what pranayama is. Pranayama is the breath work in yoga. All right, so let us begin and we're going to start with, um, with a mat and cushions if you need them to sit. Those of you that are well able to sit without support, you go for it. Um, <clears throat> it's best to have the cushions high enough so that your, your hips are higher than your knees. So that's how you know um, how to position yourself. If sit sitting isn't good for you today, you can go into a chair or sit against a wall, whatever, whatever works best. Okay, so the first movements we're going to work on is opening up through the side body and through the rib cage. So making sure, firstly, that you feel nice and steady and comfortable and supported. And you can cross your legs however you like, so just up the shins, flexing the feet, or you can have the feet outstretched if you prefer. Okay, so seat, sit yourself comfortably, root down into the mat and into the ground, and then grow up out of the head, drawing your chin inwards. Lovely. Take a few moments to breathe in and out of the nostrils. Well done. And when you feel ready, opening the eyes if they've been closed and we're going to reach out to one side, taking your fingertips on the ground or possibly palm on the ground, whatever works well. And then lifting the other arm up towards the sky. Pause there. Make sure that your lower shoulder is dropping down, that elbow is dropping down so you're not causing tension in that side of the neck. And just see if you can breathe into this for a moment dropping the opposite thigh and knee down. Imagine that you have a weight on the opposite thigh and knee. Good, breathe into this opening up in those intercostal muscles between the ribs. These are really helpful for the muscles of breathing to support us. Well done. And then slowly, slowly reaching back up towards the ceiling. And we're going to rotate both, both palms up towards the sky. Pause there for a moment. Well done. And see if you can bring the shoulder blades back together. So you're moving, you're tracking your thumbs back to the wall behind you and slowly bringing them in front. Rotate the palms down and now opposite hand to the ground. Make sure that that bottom shoulder is down and reach the top arm up and over your head. Again, dropping that outside buttock and thigh to the ground and breathe. Breathing into those outside ribs, feel the muscles alive and awake. And then slowly, slowly coming back to centre, rotating the palms up towards the ceiling again, breathing in and out, and then shoulder blades back together and release. And one more time, shoulder blades back together and release. Beautiful. From here, we're going to take the hands in front and interlock the fingers. 
slowly push the palms in front of you and then push your spine back to the wall behind you so you feel like you've this push pulling action here and your chin is pulling in breathe in and out one more breath then raising the arms up above the head and feel that lengthening action so the wrists are pushing up towards the ceiling the sit bones are pressing down towards the ground so really feel that lengthening action through the spine breathing happily here having a little smile to yourself maybe moving the gaze and the head up towards the ceiling to look to the knuckles breathe there good and slowly reaching the hands down Good. From here now, we're going to come into the awkward um, interlock of fingers. So just swapping the opposite index finger on top, push the palms in front, it feels unusual. And then raise the arms back up above the head. And this time we're going to bend the elbows and take the hands behind the head. And then work the shoulder blades together, working the elbows nice and wide and pushing the head back into the hands and breathe here, drawing the rib cage in. And I'm going to leave you here for a moment, breathing in and out because I forgot to get on my timer, but that makes me human, doesn't it? So here we go, just to make sure that we're all together. <laughs> okay, so staying here, breathing in and out. Good. And now gently, we're going to work the elbows in towards each other, rounding the spine, drawing the chin in. And just feel, first of all, a little bit of a neck stretch here, a little pull and breathe into it. See how that feels. And then we open up again, opening the elbows wide, shoulder blades together. Now, possibly working the head back into the hands. So this can feel a little strong through the elbows or through the upper arms rather than elbows. And just see how this goes for you. Imagine that you're sitting out in the sunshine, enjoying that glow and heat and warmth over the face that softens any tension in the eyebrows and the corners of the eyes and the jaws. Have a little smile to yourself. And that glowing warmth now moves down into the heart and into the chest, breathing into that. And then slowly, slowly drawing the chin in. Neck is long, lifting up from the base of the skull, just feeling that lengthening action that we've been working on. Well done. And this time, elbows in towards the head. Now, no pulling on the head, just be really gentle with this, allowing the chin to draw in and see if you can gently work your chest towards your spine. So you're rounding a little more and opening up the back body here. Breathing happily as you do this. If it feels like it's too much, just come up a little higher because this is quite strong. Well done. And slowly, slowly coming back to center. Open the elbows like wings, pushing the palms up towards the ceiling, breathing in and out, and then opening those arms wide, rotating the palms up towards the ceiling one more time. And now a nice big shoulder clean out. So we're going to just roll the shoulders so that your palm rotates in the opposite direction up towards the ceiling. So shoulders stay down. Well done. And then again, working into those shoulder joints, opening out and working into the nerves and in the inside and outside of the arms. And one more time, rolling the shoulders. Good. Palms up towards the ceiling and rolling in the opposite direction. Palms up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, take the hands together and cross the legs in the opposite direction. If you needed your hands for that, take them down so that we're just getting a little bit of balance. We're going to take the elbows towards each other and rotate the wrists around. Just getting a little bit of <coughs> extra movement here into the wrists, just waking them up because we're going to need them in a moment. Beautiful, okay. Releasing the hands, give the fingers a little wiggle. I'm going to turn to my side now and remove my, my cushion. And you can stay where you are, just walking the feet out so that they're hip width apart. Well done. And then we walk the palms back behind us. And we're working again into the chest and into the shoulders, spreading the fingers as wide as you can and opening in the front of the chest working the shoulder blades together and breathing here. And if you feel like lifting the head up towards the sky again, do breathing happily, good. And then slowly, slowly working the chin in and allow the shoulder blades to release, the shoulders to ground a little bit. And you can sit back into that. And again, pushing into the, pushing into the feet, open up the shoulder blades, lift up in the chest and breathe. 
Well done. And slowly separate the shoulder blades, allow the shoulders to roll forward. From here, we're going to come back to somewhere between those two exaggerated positions and then pad the fingers out to the side, taking your time with this and then pad them all the way back so that your fingers are reaching the back of your mat, breathing there. And then again, shoulder blades working together, lifting the chest up and separating the shoulders, allow them to roll forward. And again, separating, the, working the shoulders together, opening up the front of the chest and heart, and then separating the shoulders, allowing them to come forward. That's a bit challenging. Take your time, pad the hands all the way forward again, reach the legs out in front of you, and give the backs of the legs a good old shake. Well done. Okay, from here, we're going to bring ourselves into a little twist. So we've come to the opposite leg cross. And we're going to take our time to take one hand over to the opposite knee. So it doesn't matter what side you go. I'm taking my left hand to my right knee and then swinging my right hand back behind me. And I'm just being gentle here and careful that I'm not squashing my neck in, um, I'm not squashing my ear into my shoulders and not squishing in the neck there. So take your time. See if you can bring your gaze back behind you, twisting through the belly, the chest, the shoulders, the neck and the head. Well done. And then moving your head first. So stay in the twist. Move your head to look back towards the front of your mat. Well done. And then gently, gently, gently come back to center. Good. We'll try the other side. So opposite hand to knee, so crossing over and then reaching the back hand behind you. Keep both shoulders down and elbows nice and soft. Good. Press both thighs and knees down. Breathe into it. Well done. Moving your head to look in front. Good. Take your time to unravel that twist. Beautiful. We're going to do it one more time. A little variation now. So taking the opposite hand to knee working the hand behind you into that twist and see how it feels. And now we're going to take the back arm and lift it up towards the ceiling, pausing there. And if it feels okay, you can press both thighs and knees down. You're going to make a little diagonal reach here. So you're feeling the outside, nice and long, that outside rib cage and waist and hip, nice and long. Beautiful. Reach up towards the ceiling. Lower that arm down, move your head to look in front, take a breath out and unravel. We go to the other side, crossing hand over knee. You can do this on a chair, back hand behind you, twisting around. Take your time, thighs and knees are pushing down and then the back arm reaches up to the ceiling and then you're reaching over to that diagonal, to the opposite knee. Both shoulders are down, breathe, well done. Slowly reaching up with the upper hand, lower it all the way back behind you. Don't take a shortcut. <laughs> Move the head to look in front. Breathe in and out and release. Fabulous. Okay, we're going to come into a forward fold from here. Use your cushions if you're if you haven't done this before. Have one cushion or two cushions, whatever works best. And we're going to hold this position for a few breaths. So we're just going to ease ourselves forward, elbows working onto the cushion, or of course onto your knees if that works easier for you, if you're well used to this, or elbows right down onto the ground. I'm not going to demonstrate any of that stuff. And then I'm going to take my head into my hands here, or my head right down to the cushions. And drawing your chin in, just breathing here in the forward fold. Allow yourself to release the spine, release the hips, Release the neck, dropping in the shoulders. And let your breath move down to your belly so you're feeling your belly rise and fall as you breathe here in this forward fold. This forward fold is soothing and calming for the mind. If ever we're feeling anxious or heady, Coming into a forward fold, allowing the head to bow down is really helpful. And you can do this in any position, any sort of forward fold that works for you. 
Stay looking down, push your elbows and hands firmly into the surface beneath them. Stay looking down, don't lift the head first. Keep gazing down. Well done, and then slowly lift the head back to center. And then we try with the opposite leg on top if you have been cross-legged. Yeah, you can have the ankles or the shins or whatever works, your soles of feet together, as many versions. If you've been practicing these moves before, you'll know what the versions are that are right for you. And then allow the head to drop down. If you have the cushions uh, underneath your belly, it's a really lovely feedback here between the breath and the cushion so you can feel your belly rising towards the cushion as you breathe in and falling away from the cushions as you breathe out and trying to feel that breath working into the lower back as well the rib cage at the back of the body nicely expanded here one more round and taking your time to crawl your hands back, elbows onto the surface beneath you. Keep your gaze down and slowly, slowly, slowly lifting your head up. Well done. OK, so now we're going to work back into our Samavriti Pranayama, the equal length breath. You can use your pillows again, your cushions to support you. Any seated position that works, soles of feet together, crossed legs, crossed ankles, crossed chins and calves, whatever works, or sitting against the wall. And consider your posture, so pressing your sit bones down into the surface that's supporting you. Lengthen the whole of your spine, lengthen the crown of the head, draw the chin in. Good, soften in the face, allow the shoulders to drop so the side of the neck is released. Tune into your breathing in and out of the nostrils to begin softening in the belly. So allowing the belly to rise as you breathe in, to relax as you breathe out, to fall as you breathe out. Inflating on the inhalation, deflating on the exhalation. And see if you can begin to gauge the length of your breath yourself trying to equalize the inhalation and the exhalation. Acknowledging that when we move into this equal length of breath, we switch on the parasympathetic nervous system. Our brain and our nervous system tells us that all is well that we don't need to run, we don't need to fight. We'll try to breathe in now for a count of four, three, two, one, out, four, three, two, one, in, four, three, two, one out, four, three, two, one in, four, three, two, one out, four, three, two, one in, five, four, three, two, one out, five, four, three, two, one, in, five, four, three, two, one, out, five, four, three, two, one, in, five, four, three, two, one, out, five, four, three, two, one, continue in your comfortable rhythm for two more rounds.
gently opening your eyes at the end of your exhalation. Allow your breath to settle down low in your abdomen. Consider for a moment the skin between your belly button and your pubic bones and allow your breath to ebb and flow in that skin. Sense the ground beneath you that's holding you steady. Acknowledge sounds in the room that you are in. Acknowledge smells. Tastes in your mouth. And allow yourself to steady within this sensory awareness. And taking your hand onto your heart, pausing there at your heart center. And acknowledging three things in your life that you are grateful for today. Taking your other hand to your heart, offering from your heart out beyond yourself, an offering of kindness, of respect, of gratitude beyond yourself. Well done. Namaste. Thank you. I hope I did okay without my timer. <laughs> well done, everyone. Two minutes over. Apologies. Bye bye. <clears throat>